Hello friends, welcome to Southern Seasons. My name is Jody, and I am so glad that you joined me today. If you love decorating, DIYs, thrifting, French country, shabby chic, and a touch of farmhouse, then this is the channel for you. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing a couple of thrift flips and revamping some items I already have. But first, before we get started, I want to announce that I am a proud member of the Plaid family, and they have sent me these wonderful products that you see here. And I am gonna be using some of these today for my thrift flips and my revamping. And you know, I didn't even know Plaid had brushes. <laughs> and this roller here, I've always wanted to have one of these. So I finally got one. Look at all these beautiful colors. And you know, I didn't know that they had all these different types of Mod Podges. So let's go ahead and get started on my first project. This is a sign that I found at the thrift store a while back. It was $1.99 and I did get it for half off. And I am just going to be taking some of the white paint here that they sent me. And I'm going to be painting this whole thing white. I'm also going to be using one of the paint brushes that they sent me. Now that I have this painted white, I am wanting to put some scrapbook paper on here, but of course this is a little too big, so I am going to cut it down. And I did mark the spots here. I'm just going to line it up. I love this little cutter. I got it off of Amazon. It works fabulous. And it wasn't very expensive. I do have the link down below if you're interested in this cutter. It is great for scrapbooking and for junk journaling. Okay. So this is what I'm going to be doing, but I'm actually going to be ripping the edges around on here to make it more jagged. But first, I want to do a little bit of painting because I don't want this white. And I'm going to be taking some of the paints that they sent me and I'm going to mix them together. Okay, so this is the first color that I'm going to be using. And I love this blue here. Then I'm going to be using the little, actually I'm going to put some white in there too. And I love this teal color here. Okay. So I've mixed some of this up and I am just doing a fast brushing here. I have sped this up. It's gonna go super fast. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect because this is getting covered up. I just wanna have enough of the white covered up on here. And I'm gonna add a little bit of white in here too. Just gonna keep mixing around. I want it to be a little bit lighter. Okay, and I'm actually gonna use some of this deep taupe. This is actually a plaid product also, but one I've already had. And I'm just gonna go in and try to make this a little bit, not as bright <laughs> teal looking here. Kind of tone it down a little bit. And I'll probably go in and mix a little bit more of my mix color in here too and just keep spreading it around and blending in. But I want to get the gray on here first, or actually the taupe color, and then I'll go in more with the mixed color that I did. Okay, I think it's kind of looking good. Now that I have it the way I want it, as I said, I did rip some of the the sides here and I did add a little bit of that deep taupe paint around the edges and I'm just going to use this Mod Podge that they sent me. This is just the regular mat and I'm going to make sure I get lots of Mod Podge on the back of the scrapbook paper here. Okay, now I'm going to place it on here. You know, I kind of like the, the edges curled up a little bit, but I think I'm going to just go ahead and get them all Mod Podge down and get it flush with the board. 
and go along here, get this side, and I will be getting the bubbles out as soon as I get all this on here. Smooth all the bubbles out. Now that this is all done and dried, I am going to be taking some of these IOD transfers. And you know what? You get 38 transfers in here. Can you see all the ones on the back here? And I got this for uh, $21. I found this on a site called The Painted Heirloom, and I'll have the link down below if you're interested. I normally use the Purple Painted Lady to get my uh, IOD items, but uh, they did not have this one available. It was out of stock. And I'll also link that down below because they have some really good prices on here. And I did get the little tool here, and this is my first time doing a transfer, so I'm just kind of testing to see how hard I need to be pressing on here. I don't know which direction to do this. Again, this is the first time I've done a transfer before. I usually just do the free printables and Mod Podge them on. But I thought I'd try this out. I think these are so pretty. Let's get this finished up. It's starting to look good. I think I'd, I'd rather do the smaller transfers because this, this does kind of kill your hands doing all this. All right, so now I just decided to show you here at the end. It did take me a few minutes to do this. I got a little bit more here to go. I did do a little sanding around the scrapbook papers you could see to show some of the white. Let's get this finished up here. And this is all that I'm going to be doing to this, just putting the transfer on. I think it looks really pretty. So my next item here is from the thrift store. My sister-in-law went with me a couple weeks ago and she actually saw this and I thought it looked great. $3.99, but I did get it half off. I like how it looks like a flower. So I'm just going to be taking my chalk paint and I'm just going to be brushing this on. Yes, I could spray paint it, but it's been so windy here lately. Now, I want to put this little doily in here. I think it'll look really cute to have it in the center of the flower because I also want to put a little printable in here. So I'm just going to use the Mod Podge and set the doily in here. And I'll put some more Mod Podge over the top of the doily. And I do want it to look a little wrinkled. I don't want it smooth. And then once this is done, I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to do some painting on the petals. Okay, now I'm just going to be taking that uh, deep taupe paint again that I like to use, and I'm just going along with my brush, just really, f no rhyme or reason, just going along, back and forth, kind of making it dark and light in spots, just kind of blending it in. You can be really messy with this. <laughs> just until I feel that I have the look that I'm trying to achieve here. Okay. I'll put a little bit more over here, make it darker in some spots. Okay. Now I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to finish the center. Now you know what, I decided I didn't like that doily. I went ahead and just painted it with the paint and I'm using my bigger doily that looks just like the small one. I'm just gonna Mod Podge this one in here instead. Okay, I'm just gonna press it in. I'm gonna put some more Mod Podge on here. And I'm actually going to Mod Podge those edges that are sticking up onto the petals after I get the center done. All right, now I have that all done, and this is my printable that I got off the Graphics Fairy. I had this one uh, last year I did, and I hadn't used it, so I'm going to use it on here. I'm just going to be ripping the edges. Okay, I will be Mod Podging this on, and then I will be brushing the deep taupe paint over the rest of the doily except for along the petals. Okay, now that is all done. I am gonna take this nautical 
piece of rope here that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna hot glue it in and you know what this the color of this one looks perfect it just matches the petals that I did I'm gonna continue to hot glue this around and I got it a little bit too long so I'm gonna trim it off here okay make sure this is on here right and I'm going to add some details here to cover up the gap right there. Now I had made this little uh, rag lace bow a while back and I thought I'd use it here. Just going to hot glue it on. Okay. And I have some buttons that I want to put on. Get the first one on. Kind of did a bigger one. A little bit smaller button here. Okay. And I also have one of these little bee charms that I want to hot glue on here also. Let's see, right there would be a good spot. Okay, so that is all I'm going to do to this one. I think it looks so pretty. Got to get all the little spider webs off here. <laughs> Now my next project, this is a jar that I got from my local grocery store last year. It had some sunflowers in it and I love the, the beehive uh, design with the little bees on it. Now I went ahead and just used my chalk paint on here and I'm gonna be taking that deep taupe paint and I'm just gonna be dry brushing it on just to bring out the details so you can see all the little honeycomb design here and the bees popping off and I'll be doing this around the whole jar. I'm just going to show you here how it looks. Okay I think I'm liking how this looks. I'm going to do it a little darker in some areas. So here's how it turned out. I'm just going to be hot gluing a little bit of jute in this little uh, rim area right here. Just going to wrap it around a few times. Cut it here and tack it down with a little bit of hot glue. Okay. Now I also want to use some more of those bee charms. I have some chain here that I got from Walmart in the jewelry area where you make your own jewelry and I've attached three different bee charms to three different lengths and I'm just going to be hot gluing this on right here onto the jute okay let's do the next one And the little one's going to go on here. Okay, so the next thing I'm taking is I have some of this chicken wire ribbon, and I cut a little piece off, push the sides down that came off, and I'm just making it into a little bow here. And I'm just going to hot glue this on over top of the chains. I just want to put a big glob of hot glue right here and I'm going to press this on kind of on a little bit of an angle. Okay, get that to stick. And I also want to put some lace on here too. Now what I'm going to do with the lace is I just cut a few pieces of lace here. I'm just taking a needle and thread and I'm going to be gathering the lace here and I'm just going to be hot gluing each piece on each side in front of the chicken wire bow. And I'm also going to be adding a button. I've got to find it though. <laughs> All right, so let's get this done here. And like I said, I will be hot gluing them on each side of the bow here, of the chicken wire one, like that. I did add my button there, and I also added a little bit of pearl trim on here also. I think this looks really pretty. 
now for my last project, I have uh, I found these baskets a few years back at the Goodwill, and I'm just going to be painting this one with my white chalk paint. Now that I have that done, I'm taking that deep taupe paint. Of course, you know that is a plaid product. Just taking a piece of paper towel, getting it a little damp, putting it in the paint, and just rubbing it on. And I'm going to be doing this on the whole um, basket, even on the lid. Again, you can do this. I do it always light first, and then I'll go in and add more. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be stenciling on the lid here. Okay, and I have this cute little French stencil that I'm going to be putting here, and since that's in my way, I'm just going to kind of line it up below that, and don't worry about stenciling above it. So I'm just using that deep taupe, I, using my stencil brush, I rub it into a paper towel, and I just do my tapping and swirling on here. Okay, so I'm going to finish this up, and I will show you how it looks with the stencil on it. So here's how it turned out. I also stenciled on the inside, and I did take some sandpaper and kind of lightened it up a little bit. Now I want to take some of this uh, lace trim that I got from burlapfabric.com, and I'm just going to hot glue it along the edge here. You should check out burlapfabric.com. They got some great lace. I know I showed this before, but I really love this one. And I did this one in pieces because the handle is in the way. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually just going to have two pieces back here. I'm just going to glue in between here. Stick this piece on and the last piece. And I also want to add just a little bit more embellishments to one side of the front of the basket. Okay, so here's how it turned out. I did another one of those little ragged lace bows, just added three buttons and you can leave the box closed or you can keep it open and stick stuff in it. So let's check out all the projects here. So let's get some close-ups here. I really love how this basket turned out. I like it being opened. That's why I wanted to put the stencil on that side too. Looks great with the flowers in it. My little flower tray or plate, whatever you want to call it, turned out really pretty. I love my little bee jar with the flowers in it. Of course, you can put real flowers in that. But I think the best one I like here is this sign, how it turned out. I'm definitely going to be looking for more signs at the thrift stores that I can put some transfers on. That is going to do it for the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.